You Were Never Really Here is directed by Lynn Ramsey and stars Joaquin Phoenix and is about a gun for hire called Joe who is asked to rescue the daughter of a senator from a sex trafficking ring. Now I know what some of you are probably immediately thinking. This movie has an almost identical plot to that of Taken starring Liam Neeson. But I'm gonna be honest, the plot is probably the only similarity these movies share. Apart from that, these movies are completely different. If anything, I'd probably compare You Were Never Really Here more to movies like Taxi Driver, Last Year's Good Time, and even Drive. I was somewhat excited to see You Were Never Really Here because I've heard nothing but great things about this movie. Even last year when it debuted at the London Film Festival, I still heard nothing but good things. And I can thankfully say that this movie is as good as everyone says it is. I was a little bit sceptical to begin with because I didn't quite know what tone it was trying to go for, but from about the halfway point onwards I knew I was in for something special because it takes a complete U-turn and the more I think about this movie, the more I kind of love it. Now I just want to make one thing very clear before you go into this movie if you haven't seen it already. Don't go into this movie expecting it to be your typical run-of-the-mill action thriller. The action doesn't really kick in until the halfway point of the film. What this movie really is, is an in-depth look of the character of Joe played by Joaquin Phoenix and just how broken of a man he is. And by the time this movie was over, I, you really could tell that this was a like completely damaged man that isn't quite there in the head and you do actually feel for him sometimes throughout this movie, despite some of the awful shit that he actually does. And there are two ways that they convey this in the movie. Joaquin Phoenix's performance is fucking incredible. Um, at first I thought it was a little bit, you know, effortless and a bit boring, but then certain things happen and he really comes into his own and really makes the character something unique. Um, and that whole aspect from his performance is one side that you can see that this is a very tortured and broken man. But the other side that shows you his past and how really broken he is, is through the visuals. There's quite a few flashbacks, but they're not obvious flashbacks, they're very ambiguous to begin with, but as the film goes on you start to piece things together and you can really get a grasp of why Joe is acting the way he is and it's because of stuff that happened in his past, stuff that he really doesn't want to live through again, but it kind of is repeating itself. And it's not just those aspects, there's also some more obvious things in the film, like the fact that he willingly attempts to commit suicide at various points in the film, that just goes to show that he really doesn't want to be doing what he's doing anymore, and that he's gone through enough shit, and he really doesn't want to see any more ever happen in his life. And just seeing someone in such a low position really does make you feel for him, like I said, despite the fact that he does do some pretty horrific things later on in the film. From a visual standpoint, this movie is really nice to look at. It's not a particularly pretty film in any sense, but the way that it portrays the events in the film as really gritty and not glorified in that sense, I thought was a really nice change. I did think some of the visuals near the start of the movie were a little bit pretentious, but like I said, as the film goes on, they do make a bit more sense, and in the end, I really did like the visual aesthetic of the film way more than I initially gave it credit for. As I've mentioned a couple of times now, from about the halfway point all the way to the end, that's when shit really does hit the fan in this movie, and I've got to admit, most of it was really unpredictable. I had no idea where it was going, and just when you think you know what is going on, it then throws another curveball at you, whether it be visually or very subtly, 
And that always kept me on my toes, along with the fact that I wanted the character of Joe to succeed in whatever it was he was doing. And that brings me on to my... Uh, another point that I have about this movie is the fact that this movie does a good job of riding that very thin line of being very meaningful and poetic, but also having really disturbing imagery in it as well. Because I know sometimes films can either go one way or the other. For example, Only God Forgives I didn't like because it leaned more towards the disturbing and fucked up imagery and it thought it was trying to be poetic and meaningful, but in fact it was, you know, just pretentious. Whereas there are other movies that do the complete opposite, think they're trying to be meaningful, but in fact lack that sense of realism, grittiness, and that disturbing edge that kind of gives it a bit more oomph. This movie does a great job in riding that very thin line. Yes, there are some horrific moments in the film, but there are also some really touching moments that counteract the more disturbing shit that happens later on in the film. And I loved that. I suppose my only nitpick at this moment in time is the soundtrack. There were a few moments where it works really well and sets up a kind of unnerving atmosphere, but then there are other times where it can be a little bit grating and annoying and you kind of don't know what the fuck you're actually listening to. Um, but when it is good, it is really good and sets up the tone perfectly. But there are just a couple of times where it gets a bit too weird for my liking. In the end, I'm going to give You Were Never Really Here a 9 out of 10. If you haven't seen this movie already, I highly recommend you check it out. It has been out for a while, but it's only just come out on DVD and Blu-ray in the UK, so... If you missed it in the festival run or missed it when it came out earlier this year, I highly recommend you give this one a look. I don't think it's for everyone, but if you like the movies that I mentioned, that being Good Time Drive and Taxi Driver, then I think you'll love this movie. So guys, that was my review of You Were Never Really Here. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.